As you know, the world has reeled under the pandemic. From millions of deaths due to subsequent waves of the coronavirus that stunned the world, we have come a long way. India's vaccination drive that began on 16th January this year has been nothing short of inspiring with Made in India vaccines to ramping up production so that the maximum number of our population of 135 crore Indians gets inoculated in the shortest time possible. Now that we are in October, India's vaccination drive has hit the 100 crore mark, which is commendable, impressive and shows the world how a nation as big as ours can do wonders. With the kind of leadership it has at the moment, with Prime Minister Narendra Modi at the helm, the strategy, the vision and the execution have not only made us proud, but has also saved countless lives. Here are the top 5 moments of courage, dedication and meticulous planning that has helped India achieve its inoculation targets. In Arunachal Pradesh, these visuals of health workers crossing mountains to vaccinate the smallest of the villages located in extremely remote areas will warm your hearts. Here, health officials trekked for over 9 hours to reach a height of 14,000 feet above sea level to vaccinate 16 yak herders in the village near the Tibetan border. Isn't it absolutely wonderful how India's vaccination drive wasn't simply limited to big states but expanded to the remotest corners of the country to ensure not one person is left out? Another state, another story. Uttar Pradesh. With a population of over 20 crores, this state, as the naysayers had projected, would have suffered because of the pandemic. But defying all odds, at record speed, UP has managed to inoculate over 12 crore people to date, and the number is going higher up with every passing day. The state garnered praise from the WHO itself, which appreciated the state's efforts in combating the pandemic by delivering door-to-door -door vaccines and following robust containment measures. The most important aspect of vaccination drives is people's participation. When Prime Minister Narendra Modi took his vaccine at AIMS and that too, the indigenously developed co-vaccine earlier this year, millions were inspired and it was only a matter of time that Indians from all age groups came out in large numbers to get inoculated and create awareness about the vaccines. Of course, there were countless attempts to create vaccine hesitancy in masses by people who have so far thrived on seeing India succumb. But India as a nation fought back. Senior citizens came forward and showed the country how it is done. The story of 120-year-old Dhola Devi from Jammu and Kashmir is inspiring and how. She got vaccinated in May this year and urged others to get the jab too. Here's another example of a street vendor from Shalom who got himself vaccinated so that he's able to restart his business at a time when the pandemic had impacted millions of lives globally. This act not only warmed our hearts, but also inspired countless others saying, if I can, so can you. The pandemic has shown us different sides of human beings. We have spoken to our peers, neighbours, persuaded them to get vaccinated. Many did, waiting for that nudge from someone familiar, someone they could trust and look up to. And this is exactly what happened in a village in Madhya Pradesh. An entire village of 127 people took the jab following a chat with, can you take a wild guess? Well, none other than Prime Minister Narendra Modi himself. On June 25th, Prime Minister Modi called up Rajesh Hirave from the Dularia village of Madhya Pradesh and urged him to get vaccinated. The PM counselled them to take the vaccine amidst their doubts about the inoculation drive. 
feeling encouraged, Rajesh with his family members got vaccinated. The Prime Minister also spoke to another 60-year-old village resident, Kishori Lal Dhurve, who also later got vaccinated. This set off a chain reaction and in no time, the whole village got their jabs, shedding their fears, feeling encouraged after their chat with the Prime Minister. India's technological advancement is a world-known development. From digital payments to vaccine certificates, India has led the digital revolution like no other. Here, we have drones carrying vaccines to the remote Karang Island in Manipur, located in India's northeast. With this, India became the first country in Southeast Asia to deliver vaccine by drones. Who would have thought India will go to this extent to ensure last-mile delivery of vaccines to its citizens so that no one misses the jab? These are some of the thousands of stories that have restored our faith in India's leadership. In its plan to bring every person under the vaccination coverage, no matter what strata of the society they belong to. Today, as we have crossed the 100 crore vaccination mark, it only shows us how, as a country, we have shown resilience, self-reliance and overall a sense of collective responsibility in fighting the pandemic. Hope you liked this video. Until next time, this is Richa Devedi signing off. Dhanyavad and Namaste.